marriage certainly agrees with you, Catherine. Guys, you look radiant. Thank you. Well, I can't get much better than this. I have my husband and my, my family. It's my birthday. How much more can I want? There's nothing more to want. You know, in my experience, it's always been that once you think you've got it all, the bottom simply drops out. My goodness, Edward, what a gloomy prediction. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to Edward. He enjoys being a grump. Doesn't he, Mother Quarterly? Well, thank you all for coming. Please, have a wonderful time. Ooh. <clears throat> Seems things aren't as wonderful as Catherine would want us to believe. Mm. Has she upset you in some way, Lila? Her, her very existence upsets me. And her presence at my home is deplorable. Lila, I've never heard you talk about anyone like that. I abhor the woman. She actually had the temerity to strike my dog. I'll never forgive her. Never. Sister dog. Oh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Is everyone having a wonderful time? Uh, <laughs> call it odd. Then why are you here, Lee? I don't know. You? Not a clue. <laughs> Speaking of clues, you made any progress in the Bradley Ward investigations? Oh, actually, that's what brought me over here. As a matter of fact, Jack, I'd like to have a little talk with you. Maybe you can answer a few questions for me. Well, uh, sure try, but I don't... Well, know. I'll just give you a call. You all enjoy your stones? Wow. Is something wrong, Catherine? Uh, no, uh, no, everything's fine. It just, it just hit me strange. The two of you broke up when Felicia's obviously so. Well, the timing just doesn't seem great. That's all. You know. Lucy sticking her nose in other people's business where it doesn't belong is one thing. She's almost earned her right to snoop. Can I uh, talk to you about the champagne for a minute, please? Excuse me. I was just getting warmed up. No attacking the guests of honor. It's bad for business. I'm right, aren't I? She is correct. Why don't you ask me again, darling, when it's any of your blessed business? My, my, my. Everybody's so touchy tonight. Where's Monica? Are you speaking to me? Well, who else? She's home, sick to her stomach. Either from the chemo or the specter of this party. It's anybody's guess. Well, don't let her overdo. Keep playing. Mm -hmm. I wish a pox on that woman. You know, believe it or not, Dad, I think it's actually your pathetic little way of bonding with us. I have never seen anybody so desperate for acceptance in my entire life. Yeah, or more misguided about how to go about it. <laughs> Hell, she even makes me look good. <laughs> Hi. Happy birthday. I didn't realize you'd be here. You'd be surprised how much I get around. What is it? Excuse me. Miguel, come on. It's been three minutes since we last looked at your watch. Chill out, man. She'll be here. Listen, I don't want any advice from you. You've done more than enough, right? Is that the gratitude I get? Don't be, don't be mad. He's just a little overwrought. I don't give a damn as long as he's not overwrought about you. You. I, you. Then I need to talk to men for a second. I'll be right back. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Catherine invited Lois to this asinine party. You're kidding. No, the worst part is she almost came. She's acting really strange, Ned. One more night. You keep saying that to yourself. That's the only thing that's getting me through. <sighs> Listen. Please tell me you're not joking, and please tell me that this is finally going to be over. This time tomorrow, Catherine yeah. will be out of our lives. Ned! Yeah. I got you going. Mm. Oh, great. A major, a major surprise just arrived for you, Catherine. I bet it's from my husband. Uh, sorry. Well, what is it then? Well, you got to see it to believe it. Um... I mean, we probably should wait till later, but uh, it's too big to keep in the kitchen. Oh, we'll bring it on out here. All right. But who's it from? 